Welcome to my World of Warcraft video where we explore the secrets of the Zirka Vaults and learn how to unlock its precious treasure chests. In this video, we'll go through each puzzle step by step. Let's get started. To access the vaults, there is a short quest line that you'll get early on when entering the Forbidden Reach that involves rescuing a couple Dragon Scale Expedition members, Jeb and Tatcha, and then heading over to the vault entrance where they will have quests to explore the vaults. As part of these intro quests, you will receive six vault keys to get you started with opening the doors inside. If you have alts, you can complete the quests up to this point to receive the six free keys and then mailing those to your main. Keep in mind that the doors you open are not account wide, so you will be sacrificing a bit of progress on your alts to boost your main. The keys seem to drop fairly often from chests and mobs in the Forbidden Reach, so farming keys shouldn't be too bad. To enter the vault, talk with Jeb and click the correct dialogue. Each time you enter the vault, you'll have to clear the spiders on the main level, which aren't too hard, but just annoying enough that you might want to save up a couple keys before re-entering the vault to make it worth your time. After the spiders are cleared, you will initially have access to the first and second floor, by climbing the spider webs. You will need to find the item to activate the bubble elevator so that you can swim up to floors three and four. Now I'll go over the different rooms you'll find. There are 28 rooms in total, four on the first floor and then eight on the others. Many rooms are simple and only have enemies in them that you kill to loot the room. There are a few rooms that require you to unlock other rooms and obtain items or buffs to complete them. In one of the first rooms you'll unlock on the second floor, you find a flask of windward steps which will allow you to jump from platform to platform on the upper levels. So you'll want to grab this every time you enter the vault. There were six elemental rooms in total, two fire, two frost, and two arcane. The rooms covered in fire can be accessed by either finding a protective ward of flames or finding the alchemy room with the restorative waters cauldron, filling an empty vial from it and then throwing the vial into the room to extinguish the flames. For the rooms covered in ice, you'll need to find the cauldron of empowering flame which was in a room with a rotating flame turret. You'll fill a vial of flames from the cauldron and then throw it into the ice room to melt the ice. The rooms where the chest is protected by an arcane laser require you to find a re reflective arcane ward Board, which will make you immune to the laser beam damage. Finding the alchemy room will grant you access to the restorative water and dissolving cauldrons and a few empty vials. The vials respawn quickly, so don't worry about using them. We already covered the restorative waters cauldron, but there's also a dissolving cauldron that unlocks the chests in the room with the stone pillars. In one of the rooms, you find a vial that turns you into a sludge monster that increases your health by 300%. I believe this is to help with the room with the giant slime in it, or you have to jump in the slime and swim towards a gem inside it while taking damage. I couldn't find another use for the sludge buff. You'll come across a room with a prototype Tinkertron in it, which is where you'll turn in the Notharian tokens you find for a prize box. The boxes contain junk, primordial fragments, and sometimes a gilded mecha frog pet. You can also click on the champion battle bot in the room to remotely control it to destroy the other bots in the room. There are also a number of bots on the first floor you can jump down and destroy for additional primordial fragments. Next is the gold room that has a cauldron of oozing gold in it. You'll be able to fill empty vials from it and then go to the room with the coin mold in it, pick up the hammer, and unlock the mold for five Notharian coins. Other rooms of note were the hologram room where you can pick up a hologram toy, a room where you have to solve the Connect 3 Candy Crush type game, a room with a tornado in it that does a small knockback to interrupt the chest open Openings, but just time your clicks to get the chests. There's also a chest with four runes above it. To open it, you need to click on the experimental potion in the alchemy room until you get the strength of the brood buff. Then head to the chest and click on the runes in the order of two, four, three, and one. That's a wrap for our Zerka Vaults puzzle guide. I hope this video helped you solve the challenging puzzles and unlock the treasure chests with ease. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more World of Warcraft content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.